This presentation is to help you review plot diagram. Please take notes as you follow along. You can pause or rewind this video at any time. First, let's go over the definition of plot. Plot is the sequence of events that happen in the story. The plot diagram helps us organize those events. There are five basic parts to the plot diagram. One, exposition. Two, rising action. Three, climax. Four, falling action. And five, resolution. The first stop on the plot diagram is the exposition. The exposition is the beginning of the story. Readers learn information about the characters, setting, and the conflict in the exposition. Let's go over those three exposition parts. Number one, the characters are the people or beings that the story is about. Number two, the setting is where and when the story takes place. Number three, the conflict is the problem in the story. If the problem is inside the character, it is internal conflict. If the problem is with another character in the story, it is external conflict. The next stop on the plot diagram is the rising action. The rising action is where the conflict grows and the story builds interest. The third stop on the plot diagram is the climax. The climax is the turning point in the story. The main character changes in the climax because of the conflict. The fourth stop on the plot diagram is the falling action. The falling action is when the story is coming to a close after the climax. The fifth stop on the plot diagram is the resolution. The resolution is when the conflict is fixed and the story ends. Putting it all together, we first start with the exposition, which is the beginning of the story. Then we have the rising action. Then we have the climax, which is the middle of the story. Then the falling action, and finally the resolution, which is the end of the story.